brother played, my dad played, so I was a gym rat growing up watching them practice, and then uh, I think I started in fourth grade. I just had a great opportunity to come here to Moscow and, and play in the EuroLeague. Uh, it's always been on my bucket list, uh, so after 10 years, I felt like uh, it was time, and uh, you know, like I said, I had a great opportunity uh, closer to home. Can have my friends come visit, uh, come watch games uh, very close, so uh, I'm excited. My best memories is just going to the finals. Uh, last five years I've been in NBA playoffs. Uh, you know, the playoffs is a different experience, so, uh, you know, I, I came to Europe to win, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do in the EuroLeague and the BTB and uh, just, uh, you know, get to the playoffs. And uh, I know in the playoffs everything can happen and uh, it's a different kind of basketball, a different atmosphere. So uh, I'm excited to see what the EuroLeague got. Uh, yes, uh, obviously I've played uh, 10 years. So I've been a member of the MBPA for 10 years. So uh, I think it's a long time coming for the EuroLeague to do uh, the same thing with the ELPA. So I'm excited to join the ELPA now. It's very important, uh, you know, uh, the players are, uh, w we are the ones who build the league, so uh, our voice uh, got to be heard, uh, and, uh, you know, especially EuroLeague getting as big as it is, and, uh, you know, as popular, uh, you know, uh, our voice got to be heard too. In uh, the short amount of time, uh, they, they've gotten a lot done. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, it's only going to get better, obviously, and uh, the more players that sign up and, and uh, the more players that join, uh, our voice is going to get heard, uh, and I think it's just going to uh, make it a better league.